In this video, traders, we are going to look at an alternative to just exiting a losing trade at the market using a stop. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so the normal scenario we have when we're trading is this, right? We have a position on. If you imagine that we are um, in a long position and imagine that we've kind of bought here and we've got our stop loss around this level. So the market comes down to here. What normally happens when we have a stop loss triggered is it fires the order at our stop. We might get some slippage or we might not. Um, but there's another way of potentially managing the risk a little bit better. Now there's pros and cons to this, which I'll go into, but I have noticed that many traders do this, top of their game traders, by the way, not just any old traders. Many traders at the top of their game do this in some circumstances. So what's the scenario? So you, option A is that you'll just have a sell stop. It just goes into the market, bang. The other option is that you have a zone where you don't want that trade anymore okay so that could be here for example let's keep it the same zone let's imagine that zone is 50 whatever the, the print is whatever the market is so that zone is 50 normally a sell stop would go in sell your uh, shares or whatever assets at 50 okay but in this circumstance in this slightly different scenario you wait until 50 and then you work out of the order you find a good place to get out now the, the theory of this is that markets are rotational. Okay, markets don't generally just go straight through the floor. They do sometimes, but very often markets are going to come down, test, push back up, test lower, and you can get that sort of action. So the idea of this is when it hits your stop level, rather than just lobbing it all into the bid, you then work out an order and you try to find a better place to get out. In other words, you know, if it's just spiking to that level, then maybe you want to start working some offers here. And if it kind of sits there and holds and does this, then you take it out there. If it kind of pops up and you think, well, it's, it's, it's not a very good trade, it pops up, you take it out there. Now, that in theory is great. However, of course, if it's kind of drifting straight through, you need to be able to recognize that that isn't gonna be a rotational type trade. You need to just hit the market. So the advantages, of course, are that you aren't getting pinged out on extensions. You know, you know the amount of times, you know, we know that stops will, will run stops, they'll push, market will extend. And by the very nature of the stop loss, it just has to be tagged before you crystallize that loss. Now, if you're using this scenario where, hey, if a level is touched, then I'll work out of the trade, you're allowing the market to kind of come back a bit, rotate back, and very often the market will ping, it will come back, and you can decide then, hey, I don't want this trade, how can I get the best possible position for it? So perfect scenario would be, you know, it pops back up and starts to stall, you sell into that as if you were like going short, fresh into the new lows, rather than selling right at lows. Because if you think about it, and I'm going to look at disadvantages in a second, but you think about it, if you were to take a short trade, very rarely are we pressing shorts through lows. Now, sometimes we obviously are because of different scenarios, etc. but very often we're waiting for a pull back, a pause, a kind of bear flag to push low or a pop up that fails and then we put we sell onto that. So why not use that for an exit as well as an entry? So that's the that's the pro and the idea is that markets aren't just going to flush through the floor, you're going to get a better opportunity and rather than kind of excessively just hitting markets, you say, right, I'm going to work out the trade, try and find a good spot to get out of it. Now, of course, the disadvantages, which is obvious, is that if the market just falls straight through the floor, then you have to have the discipline and the ability to just pull the trigger and get out of the trade. In other words, it hits 50, like, listen, this thing is just ripping through the floor, uh, and I just have no knowledge or idea that this is going to pull back, or I've got no theory or no thesis or no feeling, should I say, this is going to pull back, and it's just come out and hit the bit of 59 48 whatever it may be so you know there's a disadvantage that however you know the pros and cons need to be thought about because very often you may well be in a trade and it hasn't got to your stop and you say i don't want the trade now this is where a nice hybrid approach comes in and something that I like to use for certain types of trades. Other types of trades, listen, if it goes to that, there's, there's, no, there's no ambiguity whatsoever, you're out of the trade. But some trades require 
a little bit of a hybrid approach. So one thing you can do, if you don't want to go full onto this kind of theory, because also don't forget, if you haven't got iron discipline, you could, and you're a deer in headlights type trader, you, you sometimes get caught like that, then this is no good. Because the one time it just sits there and sits there and sits there and goes to the 30s, 20s, is the time you get wiped out. So how about a hybrid approach? The hybrid approach being, this is my uh, line in the sand, no questions asked, hard stop. But between here and here, and let's say you might move it lower if 50 is gonna be a stop, it might be between 50 and 48, but you get the idea. But between, let's say 48 and 50, is my, I need to get out of this trade at the best possible price. So in other words, as it goes to 48, you're like, right, I don't like it. It's pushing down, let's imagine it pushes down through the 48 and starts to pull back up and starts to stall a little bit that's when you exit the trade there. So you take it out there. Now, if it just runs straight through and goes to 50, the rule is overridden and you come out of the 50. However, you know, if you can try to manage an exit, then it gives you a little bit of opportunity. Now, if you find that the type of markets and conditions you're trading suit this scenario, then maybe you consider bringing that in as a more a permanent fixture in your trading plan and in your trading setup. Now, listen, you know, this is definitely something for somebody who is aware of price action, who understands kind of the feel of the market at lows. And perhaps, you know, if you look through some of your old trades, you're like, it's not very constant. I'm getting pinged out right on that low. And very often it's rotating back a bit. Might not be you know, that might not be the low of the day, it might even go lower later, but very often I'm kind of coming out on extension, I'm trying to have my stop at a good level, and it just seems to be snatching it. This might not be a bad idea. However, I definitely recommend using the hybrid of having a, a kind of line in the sand that says, hey, the plug just gets pulled regardless, so that you're not caught in anything. And also don't forget, you've got the issue of, you know, if some news comes out and it's really hammering down hard, or of course, you've got the redundancy issue, like your internet goes down, your computer has an issue, whatever, you still, I feel you still should have a hard stop of sorts in there to at least make sure you're out of the position if the worst should happen. However, having some flexibility might well improve your trading results and might mean that you're not constantly getting stopped on extremes where you never normally probably be selling at extremes, you'd be selling into pullbacks. So if you're doing that, to take a loser, then why not try and leverage on that and say, okay, well, actually, you know what? If I can try to get out on a little pop, I don't like this trade, it's going against me, it's not looking good, let me try and work out the position, let me work an offer a little bit higher, let me see if we get a little pop, and if we don't, then you know, I'll cut it anyway. So something to think about, guys, something to think about a different way of using stops, obviously pros and cons we talked about with that, but maybe something uh, you can implement in your trading. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the rest next one. Bye-bye.